This tutorial is all about rates of reaction and how changing the conditions of the reaction will change the quantities of the products formed and also the rate of the reaction itself. For your exams you may be given a table or a graph and asked to interpret or draw onto it even what the uh, graph would look like if you used for example double the concentration of acid or double the volume of the same concentration acid or if you raise the temperature or if you added a catalyst for example. Here's an exam question where you're asked to uh, read off a graph. So look at the graph of Viviana's results. How long does it take to make 50 cubic centimetres of carbon dioxide? Well that's the scale on the left hand side so 50 would be halfway between 40 and 60. Reading across and then, whoops, off the line, reading down, that would give us a time in seconds of 46 seconds. This graph and ones on subsequent slides show the graph that you would expect to get if you reacted 100 cubic centimetres of a 1 mole per cubic decimeter solution of hydrochloric acid with excess magnesium ribbon and then uh, collected the hydrogen that was produced. Now you might be asked to say, well, where would the graph be if we used half that volume? So if we used 50 cubic centimetres of one mole per cubic decimeter hydrochloric acid. Well, the clue is in the fact that we've got excess magnesium ribbon. That means that the acid is the limiting reactant. And therefore, if we're using half the number of moles, as we would do with half the volume, of the hydrochloric acid we'd expect to make half the volume. So therefore we would expect our graph to end up around about there. The other thing that we need to be aware of is that the rate of reaction at least initially would be more or less the same because we're using the same concentration. So our line would follow that and then would come off and would join there at 45. What about if we change the volume and the concentration? How about if we changed it, for example, to 50 cubic centimetres, but of a 2 mole per cubic decimetre hydrochloric acid? Well, the number of moles would be exactly the same, because we've halved the volume and doubled the concentration. A number of moles equals the concentration times the volume. So we'd expect to get, again, the same volume of gas in total. However, using a higher concentration of acid should give us a faster reaction. So the line now would be steeper and the reaction would probably be over quicker. In the next one, well, what about if we weren't using magnesium ribbon, but instead we were using magnesium powder? Well, if we use magnesium powder, then we increase the surface area of the solid and we should get a faster reaction. But because the amount of the acid and the concentration hasn't changed, we should still get the same volume of gas produced. So this time it will be steeper, but it will still stop at 90 cubic centimetres. What about if we were to do it with the same volume of the same concentration of hydrochloric acid, but at a higher temperature? Well here, the increased temperature should increase the collision rate and also the collision energy, making the reaction faster. So we'll have a faster reaction, and it should probably be over quicker. But again, we'll get the same volume of the gas because we've got the same number of moles of hydrochloric acid being used. Finally, what about if we were to use the same volume, the same concentration of hydrochloric acid, but this time we were going to use a catalyst. Now the catalyst should speed up the reaction, but because we haven't changed the volume or the concentration of the acid and its limiting reactant, we should still get the same volume of gas produced. So again, this time the reaction would simply be faster. So in summary, doing things like adding a catalyst and raising the temperature will increase the rate of reaction, but they won't affect the number of moles of the product because and the number of moles of the product depends only on the number of moles of the limiting reactant. Now, if the solution is the limiting reactant, as in these examples, if you double the concentration, but you keep the volume constant, then that would increase the rate of reaction 
because you're doubling the concentration and that speeds up the reaction and also should double the number of moles of product so you get twice as much hydrogen in this case if you use double the concentration but kept the volume the same. If you doubled the volume but kept the concentration constant you'll get the rate pretty much the same because you're using the same concentration of acid and that will give you the same rate. However, because you've got twice the volume, you've got twice the number of moles and therefore if you've got twice the number of moles of reactant you'll get twice the number of moles of product and you'll get double the volume of hydrogen.